Back now to that breaking news out of Colorado. The state Supreme Court has ruled to remove Donald Trump from the state's 2024 ballot for violating the Constitution. With me to discuss the lawyer who knows all about this, Michael Luddig, celebrated conservative legal scholar who served more than a decade as a judge on the U.S. Court of Appeals in the 4th District. Former Vice President, if you recall, Mike Pence turned to him for advice when Donald Trump asked him to overturn the election results. He went on to testify as a key witness in the January 6th hearings. Um, Judge, I'm, I, I appreciate you joining us tonight. Uh, a lot of people are shocked by this news, and they want to understand it. You have called this opinion unassailable. Can you explain why? Uh, yes, uh, th thank you for having on me on with you tonight, Stephanie. Um, I, I'm not shocked at all, and, 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 and nor, I think, are, are the lawyers and others who have followed this case and the others uh, in the other states uh, in recent weeks and months. Uh, the, as the, your viewers know, the lower court in Colorado had actually held that the former president had engaged in an insurrection or rebellion against the Constitution uh, of the United States uh, with his conduct um, before and on and after January 6. But the lower court had held that the 14th Amendment, Section 3, the so-called disqualification clause of the of the Constitution doesn't apply to presidents. Uh, the, today's decision by the Colorado Supreme Court affirmed the lower court's decision that the former president had engaged in an insurrection or rebellion, but it reversed the lower court's decision that the 14th Amendment does not apply uh, to presidents, and therefore the former president uh, whose disqualification uh, was at issue. Uh, but uh, this is not a political decision, uh, Stephanie. It, it, it's a, uh, this is a, an opinion of constitutional law. Uh, it has nothing to do with politics. And, and uh, I've, I've heard some commentators tonight uh, jump to the conclusion that this is a political decision by a liberal state Supreme Court. Uh, there's, it couldn't be anything further from the truth than that. The, the opinion by the, the Colorado Supreme Court was a masterful judicial opinion of constitutional law on the applicability of the Section 3 of the 14th Amendment. Uh, it will uh, stand the test of time. Uh, uh, as they say, uh, and uh, uh, I, I think that the Supreme Court of the United States ought to affirm this decision, and based on the objective law in this instance, the 14th Amendment to the United States Constitution, I believe the U.S. Supreme Court will affirm this decision. Then let's talk about that, because lots of folks will hear, oh, it's going to get to the Supreme Court, and there's those uh, conservative judges there. But in the opinion, it points out that then-Colorado Supreme Court Judge Neil Gorsuch's decision to exclude a candidate from the ballot is what helped them come to this opinion. Do you think when this makes its way to the Supreme Court, Judge Gorsuch will be that, uh, uh, will stick to the law following constitutional law, or do you worry that, again, politics will get involved? Uh, St Stephanie, I don't even recognize politics within the, the judicial system, and I'm not going to do that tonight. Uh, uh, I believe that uh, the, the sitting justices on the Supreme Court today, all nine of them, uh, will uh, apply the, the Constitution uh, as it is written. I believe that, uh, as written, the disqualification clause, as applied to the former president, disqualifies him from holding the presidency again. And based upon that view of the objective constitutional law, I believe the United States Supreme Court will affirm. So you don't believe Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas should recuse himself 
given his wife's reported efforts to overturn the election results. You don't? I don't have anything to, 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 to comment on ab about that, Stephanie. Um, I regard the Supreme Court with, with reverence, and I have my entire life, and I, I regard the court in the same way today. If they overturn this opinion, what would that make you think or feel about our nation's highest court? It would not make me feel anything different than what I just said about the court. Uh, every day of the week, the United States Supreme Court reverses decisions by the lower federal courts and the state Supreme Courts. Um, they are final. That does not mean that they are necessarily right. But in our system of, of, of law, the Supreme Court of the United States is right because it is final. And uh, all lawyers, and, and frankly, Stephanie, all, all Americans uh, should accept that, whatever their personal views are about the politics of the Supreme Court.